Hi, I'm Rebecca. In this video, I will show you how to build a photography portfolio website using a Smogmog template. Smogmog is free to try for 14 days. If you're not with Smogmog, and I do have a discount off any new account in the description below. Now, I'll use my dog photography photos to show you how it works, but Smogmog is geared up for any kind of photography. I do have tutorials, more tutorials for Smogmog, and I'll put the link in the description below to that too. You can also sell your photography through Smogmog, store your photos, you can do all sorts, but in this video I'll just show you how the Smogmog templates work and how you can display your photography portfolio online using Smogmog. To get started building your photography portfolio online using a Smogmog template, you first need your photos uploaded into a Smogmog gallery. So to do this, just hit upload. You can go into a new gallery. I do have a full video which explains all the settings on a Smogmog gallery, and that includes the different plans too, because you do get extra settings when you move up the plans. You start selling your photos. And people use Smogmog in so many different ways because it's so flexible for what you can do. In this video, I am just going to show you what settings I will use if I'm going to put my photos on a Smogmog website. So I'll give the gallery a title, which is awards. The security and sharing I want set to public so that everybody will be able to see the photos which I'm going to display in the portfolio on the website. The photo protection, I'm not going to apply a watermark because I don't want the watermarked in my portfolio. And the shopping cart, I want to switch off because I'm not selling the photos. And the appearance, I always switch my camera info off and I have the file names on and I'll click create. And now I can browse my computer and get my photos to upload them. I can use free apps or store my raw files too. They're in the video too. And what I'm going to do is browse my computer, get the photos, highlight the photos, click open and upload the photos. Depending what size your photos are will depend how long it will take to upload them into a Smugmug gallery. But you can carry on in a different tab while the photos are uploading. But as a rule, they do not take that long. It depends how good your internet is, really. So that's those photos uploaded into a Smugmug gallery. This is exactly what your Smogmog gallery, well not with my photos, but with yours. A Smogmog gallery looks like this. And if I go up to organize, this will take me through to the organize area, which is once you're logged in, only you can see this area. This is like the back of the website and that gallery is there, awards, now, that is the photos what are in that Smogmog gallery. And what I can do, because I've got a mixture here and I'm wanting to do dog photography, a dog photography portfolio, the other photos, I'm going to click on the photos, which are the family photos in the pheasants. Just find them and click on them. So there's a few. And what I'm going to do is just move these photos to the end of the gallery and all you do is bring one of the photos and you can just drag them around anywhere and let go and that's moved all those photos and you can do individual photos just move them so you can rearrange your the order of how your photos appear within your Smogmog gallery. You can go back to the settings of the gallery if you want to change any of the settings at all and you can also add the feature image now all you do is click on that square and it will take you back through to your photos to choose a photo which will be the feature image. Now the feature image is the image which will appear if you share the gallery to Facebook. That image will appear on Facebook. It will appear on your emails if you email the gallery link out. And also it will be the cover. Go back to the storage the cover of the gallery so that you can find your photo gallery quite easily by obviously it's got a title but it's also going to have the photo you want on it. 
To find the free website templates, we need to go onto the photo site. So in the top bar, if you click photo site, this will take you through to what is the home page of your Smug Mug website. So this is a page which visitors to the website will see. I already have the Duke template on here and I have changed the colors of it. And you can easily change your template at any time. And to find the templates, you need to go up to the top right corner and those three dots in a vertical line, you just click the dots and click on new site design. And that will take you through to all the free templates which are available with Smug Mug. All these templates can be customized exactly the same way. You just need to know where the settings are. And once you know where the settings are, you can create anything you like with one of these Smug Mug website templates. Now, the one I already have on is the Duke template. That's my favorite template out of all of these. But what I'm going to use today is Max. So what we'll do is preview the design. So we just click on that. Then we will go to the top right corner and choose this design and we're going to customize the design. This is Max. So it's a pl plain white background and what you've got here, okay, I know it doesn't look great, is the photos, you just move that, are panoramic, set to a panoramic layout. Now, all we do is click this tool icon and it will bring up the content block, which is the multiple photos. And the photos what are being displayed at the moment are recent photos. And these are the photos I've just uploaded into that Smug Mug gallery. So that's where they're coming from. And to easily change that, we can either go from a single gallery we can choose the photos we want to display. We can use keywords, popular photos, and recent photos. If anyone clicks on the photo, you can go to the gallery. You can open in Lightbox or have no action at all. And the layout at the moment is vertical. So one photo is on top of another. That's why it's doing this and why it's only showing part of the photo is the photo aspect ratio is set three to one. So all we need to do here is change the layout, which could be a grid, collage landscape, collage portrait. I'm going to move it to grid. I'm going to change the photo aspect ratio to four to three. And I'm going to change the size of the photos to large. That looks better already. I do have some portrait as well as landscape photos in here. Orientation. But that looks better already. Now what I have got is the photos I don't want in here. Like the meerkat and the pheasants and the family photography. So all I do is go photos choose. That clears everything well all the photos and I choose my photos and I'll go back to the gallery which I've uploaded the photos to the awards or you can choose any of your photos from any of your galleries and then I will select the photos which I would like to be displayed now in that multiple photos content block when you choose your photos, you can have up to 48 photos. So I'll quickly choose these photos. Then click done. And now I've just got my dog photography photos. So what I can do also in the display, I can change the spacing in between the photos to one pixel. all the way down as wide as 72. Let's just click done and preview that. That's how easy it is to change the settings. I mean some of these photos don't look right but it's to give you an idea. 
what's not helping these images is the award on them and some have a border this was a bit of a thing a few years ago with the guild everyone seemed to put borders on the photos in the competition so let's go to the setting box again and go for collage landscape so we're displaying the whole image now which looks fine but that spacing one's changing doesn't it so you can just go back to the tool icon and the display you just have to play about with it what's going to look right with your photography and that's what smug mug is about it's just geared up for anyone anyone's type of photography so that's a multiple photo content block and where that comes from is a smug mug website builder at the side click the cross to remove it and the nice big simple plus button will bring it back add content onto your website within the photo photos multiple photos all you do is drag and drop the content block where the line goes green and you can see the arrow is pointing up drop and I have a whole new multiple photos block again with the settings I've just shown you right if you've got a basic plan with smug mug you get a one-page website you can create this with your one-page website and store all your photos online if you're using the power portfolio or pro account you can use any of these templates and there are pages which you can add to the template which I shall show you shortly your contact form you don't need to make your contact form what you need to do is check that the information is correct what's going to be on it so the profile picture in the top right corner you want edit my profile and you want to check this email address that email address is where the emails from the visitors to the website will come to you can change that and the photo what you choose to go there will be your profile photo in the top right corner and that will also be on your contact form and your social links if you've got your Facebook Instagram Twitter YouTube you can put them all in there and click Save now if we go to the smug mug website builder down the side the customize panel and add content blocks so we want the content highlighted there you can add more content to your portfolio so you can add your galleries if you like folders or any pages you've made which we haven't got to pages yet the photos you've got a single photo multiple photos slideshow and a carousel you've got your button there I'll bring in in a minute you can add videos you've got spacer and separator you can add text title your social links in this template the social links are at the top already your social icons and you can add them anywhere else share buttons you've got all sorts you've even got your HTML and CSS codes which you can put in so it's just like a normal website builder but it's easy because all you're going to do is close these down we'll add the button so you just drag and drop and you can have it at the side if you like where the arrow is pointing and the side goes green you drop so if we drop the button we'll just write contact you've got different sizes you can put it in the middle once we've made the pages you can link that button to a page and then you put the relevant text on the button and what we can have is a contact form you can have a custom URL or browse page so if we put contact form in and click done and we preview and click that contact button that's your contact form ready they can fill it in and you'll get emails from your website you've not had to make a contact form if we click publish that's it we're online 
and we'll come back to the navigation menu and the, the title once I've shown you how to make these pages. So I'm going to click publish, publish now. So to make the pages, we want to go back to organize and then in this left hand corner, create. And here we can create a gallery, a folder, or a web page. So if we click web page, choose page type and layout. So you've got three types of about me pages, which you can choose from. You have a custom page, which is a blank page, portfolio, which is some more photo galleries and pricing, pricing page types. So what we'll do is create the about me page. Let's go for that vertical and give you page a title, just like the gallery. About. It's public. You can have um, anyone with the link and a private page, but if you want people to see it on the website, it needs to be public really, doesn't it? And you can fill in your meta description, your keywords, have a full SEO, Smog Mug SEO guide. I'll put the link in the description below to that. It's a simple guide, but it tells you how to, you know, to fill all these bits in and the other main part in your account settings. And again, you can add a feature image for your page. So create the page and that should take us straight through to the About Me page. Now all your pages will take on what's called the Smog Mug theme. So it will take on the same colors and the same style of text as your home page. You can change your home page and have it different, but as we are doing this now, these pages, whatever we create, will be the same as the home page. So your template can be as many pages as you like, and you do have templates for the About Me and the services page and more galleries if you like or just use custom pages where it's a completely blank page and all you're going to do is use the customized panel down the side again just to add any other content blocks which you would like onto your page so let's start with the photo if we click the tool here we go it's exactly the same content block so I'll bring a photo in I have a photo in, mind this, the photo is set to two to three. Now this photo, the original, looks like that. So it's not done too bad a job at two to three. I'll come back to this. The text, you can just put whatever text or writing you would like. You can change the title and change the writing to whatever you want to write about me. You can add more content blocks from the customized panel at the side. You can add some more text underneath. You could add a video again, exactly the same as the home page. You can just drag and drop anything else onto the web page, including any buttons. Now, let me just show you. If we get the move tool, I'll move the photo above the writing. If I click on the settings, let's mind this. If we go for a three to one, which is how the template was when we brought it in, how the big photos were, click done. Right now, if we bring the customized panel back out and if we go to layout, at the moment we're on fixed. So it's like a boxed effect, fixed. We can change that to stretchy. And what that will do is stretch out the page full width. But this photo just needs another setting now. So we've got the three to one and the photo size. If I put fill width, click done. There we go. Let's move that. The photo has filled the width now. It's almost like a hero header. And and play about with the writing you could put that in the center okay it's just one idea what you can also do 
when you've stretched out the page is add some space to the side if I have a hundred pixels there we go and then just add more and more onto the page onto your about me page so that's the about me page and publish now looks okay once I get some more information on it I'll create one more page for you so if we go to organize we're going to create web page again and this time we'll create a custom page so this is a blank page and again we need a title I'll call this dog events okay so we've got a completely blank page which is the same color or smug mug theme as the other pages on the home page and what we'll do this is the breadcrumb that little house will take you back to the home page if you leave the breadcrumb on I'm going to delete the breadcrumb and what I'm going to do is go down and add the photos content block the carousel so I'll drag and drop the carousel the carousel is a carousel of images so again you can choose from your gallery of popular photos I'm going to choose my own photos and I'll click to choose the photos I'll choose some different photos I'm going to pick about eight to ten photos out so I've got 13 galleries I think it is of dog event photography and what you can do let me just choose one go back because these are in a folder and then choose another one I just randomly choose these so pick an another one from that gallery go back to where the galleries are and you can pick another one so you don't have to pick all your photos out of the same gallery I'll choose my 8 to 10 photos I chose nine photos you can have up to 48 photos again in this content block the carousel you can change the width of the height uh, the width the height of the carousel so you've got all these various heights so you could have a hundred percent which is really tall it was set at 50% I'll leave it at 50% there is controls to loop the images and for the speed now again we need the layout so if we go to the layout and change the layout just stretchy we have the carousel now it won't um, it probably will because we're editing oh it is moving so yeah that's the carousel what I'm going to add next go back to the content is bring the galleries from these events onto the page so we will click the tool icon I don't want the title and select galleries choose that's what I want to do choose galleries so then I'll just select all the galleries which I would like which is all of these they're not in the order I want them in but I've got the photo uh, got the galleries so I've got the galleries in now the galleries look quite small there the layout is grid the photo size is small so I'm going to change that to large and then the photo aspect ratio is one to one which is a square so you can change that to whatever you like if we go three to four that looks okay you can change the spacing again in between John you can change where whether the writings inside or outside the gallery and the photo which is displayed on the gallery is your feature image so if you want a different photo to be displayed then just change the feature image on the gallery 
also you can change the dimensions so if we put a hundred in the left and a hundred in the right that will just give a little bit of space at the side and if you want to add more galleries if you can use this for anything you could use this as your portfolio for example if you're doing dog photography you could have action shots portraits studio dog photography you could do it that way for your portfolio if you've got loads and loads of photos if you're selling photos you put your galleries on people can click on the gallery and buy photos it's entirely up to you how you do it but if you were doing events and you're adding wanting to add another gallery you just click the setting box basics and you would click on the galleries and that would take you back and you can add more galleries in so again if you want to add more content blocks if you wanted some writing in between the carousel and all your galleries you can do that you can design it however you like and if you were selling your photography off your, the portfolio website then do this design on the home page and have your portfolio which we did on the home page just on a separate page now we'll click done here and publish and i'll show you how to add in the pages into the navigation menu right, if we just go back to the home page and we'll customize design We're back where we started with our portfolio. The navigation menu. If we click the tool icon, it's red because whatever we do here will be on the entire site. So there's different ways of laying out your menu. If we go to the links, it's up to you if you want to keep the browse and the search box in. I take those out leave the home in and you just press the plus button you'll put the name of the page or the link so if we add the about page in so the name is about and then link to and you can choose your page you can also have the contact form and there's other things you can choose so page choose we'll choose our page that will take us back to this area where the photos are stored and now the pages so about I've not put a feature image on that yet done we go back to the links there's the about and if we look up here we've got home about so we'll add we'll just put events and choose the page again which was dog events back to the links there's the events add if we have a contact will it be the contact form which we will choose there back to the links now if you're wanting is it called a sub menu drop down menu you just drag it in a little bit okay and now it won't show you on there but it will be a drop down menu but now we've got all four in a line and if you want to rearrange the order you just drag and drop there we go I click done so that's your navigation menu we'll go through that in a minute the title of the site so I'll leave that as my name you can write whatever you like in there and you can have a different style of text or font and if you've got a logo you can bring that logo in and then remove the text if you like that's entirely up to you it's all straightforward and then your social icons the links which we put in the edit my profile section are already in here but yeah you can add them in here to display 
If we go for circle and you can go for branded colors, large. Okay, click done. If we click done, publish now. So if we click about, that should take us to the about page, the events, and we've got a contact form. Okay, it's quite straightforward. There's one more thing to show you. Go back to the home page. The colour of this contact form button, that all acts within the theme. So we're going to customise the design again. Theme in the customise panel. The active theme is what we're using now, which is Max. Max is the template, but the active theme is called Max because that's what we're using. If you click on the wrench icon, we get another settings box up. You can change the style of the font here. So if you've got a font you want to use, go through. There's a header. You can have a different heading font and a body font. These are your basic colours and here's your accent colour, the colour for this button there. So let's just pick a colour, go for green. Now that hasn't changed, I'll show you how you do change that. I don't like that colour. Let's go for that. <laughs> and advanced, right you've got your header at the top, if you want to change the colour body. Hey, let's pick a random colour. Let's change the body of the website. I don't think it would have it that colour, but that's what will happen if you change the body colour. So it nice and white. And the footer at the bottom, if we click done, once you change something within the theme you have to give your name your theme a name so if we click done and we go back to this button color default if we go accent it's changed the color and we might be able to have outline where's the text color dark there you go it's different ways of doing it. So that's how you change the colour of your button and that colour will be the colour of your links within your writing too. Okay, done, publish now. That was how to build a photography portfolio website using a SmugMug template. There are lots of other templates to choose from within SmugMug. SmugMug is free to try for 14 days and I do have a discount off any new SmugMug account. I have all the videos for SmugMog and I do have SmugMog tutorials on my dog photography website. I'll put all the links to everything in the description below in the video. I also have a video how to set up your price list if you want to start selling your photography online through SmugMog. You will need the portfolio or the pro account and it really is a case of click the selling tools in the top bar, manage price lists, you choose the products you'd like to sell and then set your own price and switch on the shopping cart on the gallery. It's as easy as that. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, hit the subscribe button because I do have more videos coming out. Thanks for watching.